Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of PGA Tour 2K23. We just finished the RBC Canadian Open on our home turf and unfortunately we did not win that tournament. That's uh, kind of sad and disappointing but we're gonna move forward and now we're looking towards winning the Northwest Open at Chestnut Hollow. It is a major tournament worth 600 FedEx Cup points and we're gonna get another crack at uh, Defeating our rival, Harold Varner III. Let's extend our lead over Tiger, who's just a little over 900 points. Let's go golfing. Two K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northwest Open is about to start. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round, and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Rich, how do you see it? Their last matchup saw HV3 as the winner, so let's see if this player uses that to fuel their performance on the course this week. Yes, he's got a sharp tongue and a clever game. Let's see how HV3 goes up against this player in this rivalry. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Handy effort, that one. From around 140 yards here. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Choosing the 9 iron here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, just missed. That's not your best effort. Playing their fourth shot. Oh, oh the shot. flags and stop us from getting just our power. Is all that remains. And we'll settle for the bogey. Not the way we want to start a on the tournament. opening hole. Never sets the tone very well. It'll be interesting to see how they react. Let's go down to John McCarthy, who's been walking the course, getting familiar with this layout. John, what can we expect from Chestnut Hollow this week? I'll tell you one thing we can for sure expect. There will be a river, and it will run through it. This stream runs all over this course, and... Uh, can kind of pop up where the players least expect it. So the players will need to be mindful of that. This stream feeds into a lake that comes into play on holes 10 and 16. Another thing to keep in mind uh, this week is the contours of these fairways can be tricky. There are, are several fairways on this course that tend to tilt towards trouble. So players will need to be mindful of that as well. There is also a couple longer par fours on this course. So I'm going to be Looking forward to seeing how the players attack those. All in all, an exciting week ahead. Really eager to see how the players attack Chestnut Hollow this week. Looking really good. Let's return to live play now. This part is about 16 feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. This one's tracking. Big birdie putt. Let's go. Back. Get nice that shot back. back. And stepping up the standings after that effort. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Opting for the five iron. Oh, 
Oh, well played. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, this looks pure. Back to back well birdies. Like Sings the 28 footer. Let's go. It. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. one under for the event and after that good play moving up the leaderboard let's see what happens here on the fourth <laughs> this one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway And what's in front of them there, Henny? Now the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering and it's straight back up into this player. Going with the hybrid. This would be a great up and down from this spot. went down a chance to save the par if he can make this one it's tracking oh a good line I'm gonna give this Putting shot for back. bogey And now heading over to Harold Varner III. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Well, that should save them. That one from the sand. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Even for the day. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And he's down there. You got a read? He's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. Well, HV3 looking a little gloomy because this putt could put him down behind his playing partner. Solid par. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Unreal display this week with that wand. Trailing by four strokes. The sixth hole here at Chestnut Hollow Ridge is a big par five. 559 yards for those back tees. 
Luke, I gotta say though, the big hitters that are not afraid to challenge that stream going down the left-hand side, they could reduce this to almost nothing. This fairway is firm and fast and that golf ball will chase out forever. You must avoid the bunkers down the right-hand side though if you've got any chance or any hope of going for this green in two. Coming up just a little bit shy of the green is actually a good leave. Leaves a simple pitch shot to a very long and slightly undulating green. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. Time to make a big, big putt like that, and you bet their rival knows just what happened. And Thirty let's footer, that let's go! What an amazing putt from way out. Beautiful birdie. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. And back to the play, shall we? And we're currently sitting at minus one. Our rival, Harold Varner III, There's always a sense of excitement one. striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Beautiful swing there. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? Sitting at one under the card. close was that to going down this putt is about 10 feet from the hole he's got this for his part okay steady now three feet to go here to the hole hang on this looks pretty handy and unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. This hole is a long par four. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the eighth. Just a bit outside into the rough. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Didn't that look good for a long time? A par putt on the table. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot. Currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. There was a big impact for a lot of players playing alongside Tiger Woods. They almost got sort of you know, spooked by the occasion. Why was that? More than anything else, it's the fact that they're playing in front of more people than they ever had in their life before. 
And this rings true for, I think, every single player out there, whether it was Ernie Els, B.J. Singh, anybody from that era, you had more eyeballs on you at that moment than anybody else because Tiger carried the biggest crowds every single tournament. And so sometimes it would be uncomfortable, even for the most accomplished players out there. Some of them will tell you, no, it wasn't a big deal, but I, I can promise you, it got their attention and it probably helped them in a certain sense because when you played in front of that many people, Luke, you wanted to focus, you wanted to put your best foot forward because there is no worse feeling in the world than going out and laying an egg in front of 30,000 people, I can promise you that. That's why I enjoyed playing with them because when you went out there, you knew you had to play well. You didn't want to embarrass yourself in front of all those people. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And after that effort, that's how it looks. And as we step onto the 10th tee, Rich, always good to look back at the nine holes just played. Well, Luke, I've been enjoying this pair of rivals we are following today. The two of them are pretty even for the event so far. Very interested to see who will come out of this with the bragging rights. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Good shot there, Beamer. Now just one over par. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Ooh, right by the hole. 14 footer. This one's looking good. They're nicely holed. And now heading over to Harold Varner the third. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Ouch, that hurts. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. This hole here is a par four. Wow, that was just striped. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. They're lining up the birdie putt here. You can mark good it down. Birdie putt to get us back to even today. par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Come on, ball. Come on. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? No green in red, but a chance to save their par. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Such soft hands. 
So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. We've arrived at a par four. This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Next shot straight back into the teeth of the wind. And now heading over to Harold Varna III. He's two strokes behind his rival this week. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's get back to it, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. Awesome stuff. Penny. What have they got in front of them here? The wind is at their back on this one. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Feeling strong, going for less club. Well, that'll work. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Butting for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Nicely hold. And for par. Our current leader is up by three shots. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Yep, tracking nicely. Was that a rush of blood? This putt was about eight feet. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, Round the back of the cup and just wouldn't a fall bogey in. Bogey putter waits. It cost us a bogey. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And now let's head over to Harold Varna III. He's happy, just came off a birdie. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Look who's stalking us all on top of the leaderboard. It's Tiger Woods. The 16th at Chestnut Hollow is a, a short four, Rich, measuring just over 320 yards. Only the biggest hitters, unless it's a prevailing wind, will be able to go for this green and one. A lot of players, however, Luke, will still take out the driver and try and get it as down there and to the right as far as possible to set up a very easy, simple pitch shot. I'm looking at this as a guaranteed birdie if you want to win this tournament. And now heading over to Harold Varna III. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Harold Varna III setting up his next shot. Oh, it's in the hole. And for birdie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Time for the second shot at the 16th.
How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Trying to get to even par with this putt. This is their look at birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, so close. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Looks like they've got the five wood. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. This would be a great up and down. went down what's in front of them Henny uh, 18 footer here is what he's facing this one to save par Ooh. just six feet between he and the hole and that's a good putt to hold for a bogey Sitting at two over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Well, it's time to tee off on the 18th hole. Not a bad drive. A little bit shorter than Beamer. Not bad. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. They've got this left to tie with Harold Varner the third. Just missed. Playing their fifth shot. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And another round safely in the books. So the opening round in the books, Rich. Impressed with your efforts here in the booth. Thanks for your time. Same, Luke. Enjoyed the day. Looking forward to tomorrow. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the start that we were looking forward to. Looks like this course is going to be a little harder than we originally thought. We finished with a plus three. We made some pretty big putts, long putts. It was the short putts that didn't uh, help us out very much. We finished at plus three for the day. Our rival Harold Werner the third finished at plus one. And Tigers all the way in the lead at plus nine, or minus nine, sorry. We've got a lot of work to do to catch up to the leaders. I don't think that's a realistic goal, but we definitely can beat Harold Varner the third, which is kind of the priority. That's going to bring today's video to a close. Please give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.